Hey guys, what's up? Irving here. <laughs> I'm here on the plunge plunger server. Uh, I never, I never get tired of saying that. And I'm just grabbing stuff, dirt, and marble. I need to stop clicking on stuff. Okay. Anyways, guys, um, welcome to this brand new episode. Uh, gotta show you some new stuff. Uh, also, last episode, if you didn't see, I have a new waypoint called base. Hmm. Wonder why. All right. Well, I configured this to take me to this place named base. As you can see, I have a cow. Ordered it all the way from Amazon. <laughs> well, anyways, this is where I plan to actually get a base going. Turn into whips so I can fly. Uh, what I actually have planned for this area is to like build all around this. Just make little holes in the mountain makes something in the water maybe build some farms out here uh use a bunch of this area maybe do some stuff up here and i think that's going to be pretty cool so that's why i picked this spot it's pretty far from spawn it's like uh, somewhere <laughs> just following all this and north and yeah it's <laughs> somewhere around here there it is there's spawn as you can see, I've done a lot of traveling, um, playing with all these people. I've been going from base to base, helping them do things and things like that. So I've been all over the place. Uh, so that's the reason why I've been doing a bunch of exploration. Also, last episode, I showed you guys this. This stuff is amazing. And since we already have a wither skeleton farm over there, I think it's time to get into Draconic Evolution. I mean, we already have this, so we can start maybe making some tools, maybe? Or the armor. I mean, each one requires another star, so we're going to have to get quite a bit of them. Uh, probably make a cleaver or something. And also, if we have time, uh, I think the... Wither drops the division sigil. We'll have to see. And if we do have time, we'll do the extra utilities ritual. So we can get it activated and make the unstable ingots. And if we do get these, the first thing I'm going to do with these is... I mean, you can make a builder's wand, but... Where is it? I want to make the angel ring. Yes. I'm kind of tired of morphing all the time, so if I can just fly like this, I'm just, that's going to be amazing for me. So, I'm <laughs> I'm probably make a cleaver to get more wither skeleton hits, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, and I have the resources to make a cleaver now. Uh, as you can see, to make a cleaver, you need a blade, a tough blade, I think, a large plate, and two tough rods. So, I actually don't have the things as you can see and I also have the things for a crossbow as you can see I've actually made one uh, some a signal M crossbow it's actually not that great uh, I didn't like it. it takes forever to reload and stuff like that and that's why I didn't like it anyways this is this audio is actually recorded after this audio was actually not going great you know it something happened got corrupted or something like that uh, I don't really know what happened but planning to fix this problem in the future so anyways we're gonna need some blank patterns so let's get crafting those in our AEME system which is really helpful it makes my life so easy can't stop saying that because it really does all right so let's make first of all the the blade the large blade there we go and we just put it in there with some ruby it requires eight, so now we have that. Said two hearts. All right, so I, as you can see, I also have some paper. So to make the cleaver, um, if I can find it, I think it said 14 damage. No, yeah, 14 damage. And like all the other ones look like they're 11, so that's why I decided to do Ruby and see if I can find it there. There it is, as you can see, 14. Uh, attack 2 damage right there. I, I think I got confused a little. 
Anyways, let's make the large plate patterns. As you can see, I'm making the rest out of paper because I really want some extra modifiers for this cleaver in order to increase the beheading chance rate. So let's get crafting this. Now that I have everything, we put the blade there with the bindings and then, well, the rods and the large pattern. As you can see, attack of 5.5 hearts, 11 attack damage. Uh, it's actually not bad. If I would have done it all ruby, it would have. I think it would have been 14. But since I used paper, that actually wasn't the case. Anyways, to do the beheading, you need obsidian and some ender pearls. So if we head off to our little spawner area for spawn, our mob grinder, uh, let's go get some ender pearls because we're gonna need some of those. So let's get over there. Alrighty, so we're back here with the uh, ender pearls. Let's go back to our human form. Let's go back down. Down the ladder we go. Alright, so let's get crafting this. We have to use it in the tool forge. We put the ruby there. And uh, uh, we should add an extra modifier first. So the first modifier I want to add actually is the leadstone. And that's going to make it so... It operates on power instead of the durability of the ruby so that's gonna help and then if you see right there if we add the ender pearl and the obsidian we're upgrading the beheading now it's beheading five as you can see chance to behead is 70 and I'm not gonna stop there we need an extra modifier so we're gonna need a gold block I believe yes a gold block and a diamond uh, I wanted to see if I had enough to make the notch apple to do two modifiers, but I did not have enough, so I just used one. And I also needed a diamond. I checked anyways, see if I have any gold around, because I really wanted that second modifier to try to get to a 100% drop rate. Anyway, let's. as you can see, I have no diamonds. What in the world happened to my diamonds? Oh, they're right there. I, I always forgot that I never put them in the AE system. So there we go. Now we have an extra modifier. We can add another beheading. Now we have beheading six, which gives an 80% chance. And we're back. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I am right here at the little spawner thingy. I have put a redstone signal so that the grinder doesn't work. And now they're just spawning here. I have turned off the thing. As you can see, I have three in here. So let's give them a go with this grinder. Oh, there's actually four. So there's one. There's two. There's three. Is that all of them? All right. Let's see. We got four. Nice. All right, guys. So I'm just going to be doing this over and over again until I get enough to get to kill. Well, not to kill, but to spawn six uh, withers. That's my goal. So I'm going to do this and I'll be back. Alrighty guys, so I am here in the mining world. As you can see, I have some wither skeletons with me. I have the soul sand. I have everything prepared. I have a couple other things that you'll see why I use them here in a little bit. I'm actually quite a bit away from the portal at least. Uh, I hope I don't destroy that village that you saw here a little bit ago. Uh, so all you have to do to make this is you just build a 3 by 3 like this. Uh, actually think you put a piston in the center so let's break that yep there we go put the piston right there beautiful uh, put the lever now we can control it so as you can see the withers will be like this so yeah four and then the head goes right there a uh, little so above it you're gonna put in the any type of wither proof blocks and right now using the runic glass which I actually took like seven stacks of obsidian if I do remember correctly anyways you just do that you place a block put the last block on top of that and then you destroy that block in the middle and that's the space for the head so now we can get ready to d destroy this all you have to do is take off that thing it was just for temporary use and now we can actually put in the head so let's grab those I'm gonna get the signalum crossbow just in case it does get out so we'll have to see 
And also the shuriken. Come on, let's see. Okay, so moment of truth. You ready, sheep? You ready? Okay, here goes one. Here's the second. You ready? Third one. Let's go. So you just do that and it like pushes it up in there. Uh, let's see what happens. All right, so it still exploded around it and it is pretty loud for me. So, all right, can we just hit it? Yeah, we can, look at this. We can just hit it, it does nothing to us. It's like buggy or something. But yeah, we can just stand here and keep on hitting it. And then, boom, wither killed. There is our first wither, guys. That's amazing. And we also get more glass somehow. Well, that's weird. I don't know if that's intended or something or if it's a bug or something like that. Glitch. I don't know, but anyways, guys, I think we're going to fight a few more. As you can see, I have enough to do another five because I need six to, for things I'm going to do later on. Anyways, let's get going with the next one. Right guys, so as you can see, I have 32 draconium ore. Uh, that's all thanks to our digital miner. All I've been doing is I took it with the vibrant, uh, the uh, the vibrant capacitor bank thing, and I just took it around places and then just mined specifically for the draconium ore. And I've managed to get 32. I have actually a little bit more, but I'm saving that just in case we need it later. As you can see, I already got some draconium dust. Uh, you can see I got the achievement. The start of something big. Nice. Woo. I can't believe we're doing this. All right. So let's uh, fortune this with my pick. A little bit higher. Oh, that lag. Oh, lag. Stop. <laughs> Five more blocks. And let's go. Oh, this is going to take forever to break. All right, I guess I'll speed up. Let's go. Nice, it looks like we're gonna get there. Yes, and right before nighttime also. That's great. Because if mobs were there, then that would be bad. Uh, we got almost four stacks. That is really good. Uh, that 55, I'm gonna leave as dust. The rest I'm gonna try to smelt. Uh, so let's put this away. Uh, yes, this. All right, so let's get started with some stuff. Uh, I want to make all the armor. So for all of these, we're going to need the diamond armor. Let's see how many diamonds I have. 16, is that enough? I do not think so. So I do have diamonds here. Let's just fortune some of these real quick. Uh, like so. Nice. Give me, give me all those diamonds. Give it. 29 I I think that that's enough so all right let's get crafting uh, diamonds okay up that, uh, that's terrible all right now how did you do this it's like this like this no it's like this and then like that and then that <laughs> I have no clue let's see uh, no, not even close. I don't know what I was doing. Okay, so helmet and <laughs> the diamond boots. So I messed it up pretty badly. And I just got rid of all the diamonds. I need you. Come here. There we go. Uh, one more. And the leggings. Let's go see if we got any draconium now. Looks like we have. Let's fill that up again. 
and let's go get some crafting going. All right, so let's get started with the helmet. Uh, we're going to need a total of 16 of these. That's more diamonds. I should probably get fortune in these. Let's get another. Ah, not that many. <laughs> let's do some 16. All right. In the comment section, put how many diamonds am I going to get out of these 16 ores? See if anyone can get it right. Make sure to do it before. Let's see how it goes. All right, so it's not it's not that great, that's for sure. It's something though. It's 31. Hmm, nice. So there's your answer, 31. So, 16 of these? Gold, please. Okay. Let's make more of these. Oops. Shift click. Uh, that's four. I have a feeling we do not have enough. Actually, we ran out of draconium. Let's go get some more real quick. Uh, fill this up again. Take you. And let's start. Let's keep on going. That's 9, 10, 11. Oh, I ran out of gold. Do I have any gold in the system? Gold here? I do. All right. right, let's. I'm going to process some gold, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So let's keep on going. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Look at that. <laughs> One more. Come on. Oh, well, I still have some going here, so let's grab this. 16 more, that's great. Mobs are being loud. I don't like it. So, there we go. That's 16. Awesome. Now let's get crafting. So, this is going to take another start each. So, one, two, three, four. There we go. So now, uh, we make the energy core. So we're going to need another four of these, I guess. One, two, three. Dang it, again. <laughs> With one left. Darn it, gold. Gold is actually pretty hard to come by. Uh, the only reason I have, I actually have the most in the server. But that's because of the digital miner. That's definitely helping. All right, so there's four of these. All right, let's see if we can actually... Ah, uh, redstone too. Uh, there, I already have four. I'm going to need 16 in total, so 12. Come on. Yes, we have enough. Okay, let's get these energy cores. One more. There we go. I think that's all we need. Wyvern helmet. Yes. Chest plate, leggings, and the boots. Ah. Wow. Let's go give them a little bit of power. Uh, just there for now. The other thing I want to make is the enhanced charm of dislocation. So let's see how you make this. Uh, you need a wyvern core, so that's another four of these. Come on. And I ran out of draconium. I have more up here. And then let's just grab some gold. Just so I don't run out. And fill this with draconium. One, two, three, four. And this. Do we have everything? No, we just need this. Eye of Ender. Don't have any blaze rods. Hey. I think I know where they are, blaze rods. <laughs> Let's go to that community farm. The mob farm. Just take a few. I don't need that many. Just take like eight. That was like half of what they had, but <laughs> that's fine. I don't have the safari nets for the other mobs, so. 
I can't really farm those right now. Okay, let's do this. What in the world happened? I... Did I run out of power? I have ran out of power, guys. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Oh, man. Alright, so... It's up and running again. Let's... Get some powder. Uh, ten for now, I guess. Let's get this Eye of Ender. Beautiful. Let's get this Charm of Dislocation. Enderman got nothing. And there we go. Enhanced Charm of Dislocation. So, Ender Pearls. I'm going to grab a stack. Stack, I said. And then get on here. Add fuel, uh, 16. All I had to do was shift and click and add a stack at a time. And now this thing is this thing is amazing. I can add new. Let's name this home. Commit. Uh, did it show up? It yeah, it's right there. All right, and I I can like go to the mining world. Let's say let's go to the mining world. Let's go. Come on. And we're here. All right, let's go. All righty. Here's our little digital miner. Looks like it doesn't have power. Uh, is it not on? Hold on. I'll check that later. Uh, shift right click, add new, mining world. Commit, there we go. Let me check on this real quick. Uh, has nothing to mine. Did it finish mining? I'm so confused, what happened? Reset config, I have it to all auras, I believe, yes, start. That's weird. It just stopped for some reason. I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. I'm actually going to fill these here. Look at that. They fill so fast. Yes. Oh, take off this armor. Put this one on. What is that? What is this down here? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, Do I move any faster? No. Jump. Nothing. Well, I'll have to check the configs. See? Uh, but anyway, now I can shift and scroll, and you can see on the top left that it changes between home and mining world. So if I go home and right click, uses up Ender Pearl. But look at that. It's going. Come on. And I'm home. Look at that. That's amazing. All right, so I'm really happy I got this Wyvern helmet and the, well, the whole set of Wyvern armor. I am. Definitely the first in the server. Uh, let's see. Dang, I look great. Look at this. <laughs> so retarded. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I'm kind of sad we didn't get to the uh, the Ender Utilities ritual thing. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we'll do that next episode. And maybe we'll try something new. Maybe get into Batania or something like that. Well, anyways, that's it for this episode. If you if you liked, make sure to click that like button, comment down in the comment section. You know, uh, I read those comments, so make sure to put some nice stuff down there. <laughs> Show the love. All right, guys. Well, anyway, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Bye.